Nice, Corey. Take your time off the floor. Better. And that was a little better than the first one. You really get your feet down. This is a lot. All your weight should be on your tips of your shoulders. You need to pinch back. This is a big. That got away from you in front, right? Do you feel that? Yeah. You'll see it on the video. Okay, so stay out in front. Better, that's better. I like it. Good, stay out in front, stay out in front. Better, that was the best one. The arch, right there. Pinch those shoulders back behind you. Now, bench out, keep those shoulders back and pull it out. Right? And now it's taking that bar and doing this. And you're trying to pull this up to the bar. And you do just the opposite of what you just did. You just did it. Then you're trying to push the sternum up to the bar. A little bit longer, too. Right about here. Good. Yep. You should feel those lats tighten up. Okay. Like if you're rolling something. If you're rolling something, you're trying to flex your lats. So you take that bar and you're doing this. So if you if you just let that bar drop you, see how far my elbows can get really easy? Yeah. If I flex my lats and pull, I'm having to force that musculature together. And that's your springboard. So you're trying to pull it to you. I got you. Oh, so yeah. I can the difference. Yeah. Exactly. Those should stay fired up the whole time. Next time I get you on it more this. Go ahead and scoot back there. Oh, that thing is that long. That's a good yeah. sign. Yeah, that is a good sign. I mean, I get you on your toes. I mean, yeah. Yeah, big arch in your back. It's going to take time to get used to it. Yep. And now, shoulders back behind you. And if you don't lift it out, but pull it out. Yep. And now, flex those lats. Pull it up. One thing I don't like, you're almost crushing those elbows in too far. Because this bar is like this. Here's the bar, and here's your elbow. Keep that bar right in line with your elbows. Like that, yeah. Find it parted on the ceiling. Okay, good, right down that way. That's where I'll part with it. Find a target on the ceiling, get up right above that spot. That's where you're going to push the ball. So it's kind of like you're feeling about pushing that. Push yourself away from the ball. Don't push the ball away from the use. Push yourself away from the ball. So it's like, that back should hammer right to the bench. You should kick these legs in. Okay. Get down the hole. Now, force your heels to the ground and press that ball away from you. Feel that motion with me? Yeah. So press the heels to the ground. Okay. Uh, real quick, we talked about the, the white knuckle thing, right? Yeah. Where you want to just break that bar. Now watch my yeah. elbows. Now, they should come in a little. But but I don't think they're in line with the bar. That's the thing. See what I'm saying? They should. The trick is to learn how to. You should have us. Scapula together, depressed, and then it's, you know, I'm trying to spread that bar apart, but my left. So I'm not just doing this, I'm doing this. Flex my lats up. So take that bar, get the lats flexed. Now spread the bar apart and pull it down. Pretty close. If you were actually to bring the bar a tiny bit lower, your arms are in line. 
in the ball. Pull it down. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Right there, your arms are in line. And that's the highest point. And that's right the highest point of your arch. Bam. It's just like a tree house. You know, you wouldn't build a tree house on top of a branch like this. You wouldn't put a big weight on it. 